All right, so money morning routine today. So just a fun little thing. So I'm working actually in my other workbook. Uh, this is the old workbook. This is the, the new workbook that we are starting pre-orders on Monday, this coming Monday, the 16th. But this is the small size version. I was like working in both. I'm like, geez, look at that difference in size. I thought having them right next to each other would be a good size comparison for you. So this is the full size. This is what I usually work out of. And I'm trying out the small size version. So size comparison for you today. Uh, but what I want to show you this morning, what I was working in since I was working in my old workbook up until just last this last month, I was working in my yearly spending overview. That's the only thing is if you switch workbooks mid year, if you're using those front worksheets, they're all not going to be able to, and I mean, you, I guess you could transfer all the information that you've already done in the new one, but that would be quite a bit of work. So I just went back to my old one for my yearly spending worksheet overview. And I have a ruler. It's just easier, a little bit easier to see as far as across the board. So, uh, I love the yearly spending overview. I went ahead and put in August because this gives me and a wonderful overview to see trends. Now, for instance, let's see what we worked on um, and spent on food. So if I come up here and I put my ruler across, so there is my food spending. So 943 in January, 951 in February. You can see I am right around a thousand dollars. So this is wonderful if maybe you are struggling about your budget category limit. If you're sitting there, hmm, I wonder how much I should give myself in my budget for food spending. I remember you always want to create a budget based on realistic spending, not what you want to spend. We'll get there. But when you first start budgeting and creating and, and learning your spending, you want to start in a place of reality because without doing that, it's going to be really hard to know what changes you need to make to make your budget better. So I would, if it were me, I would start off at the thousand dollars a month. We move down here to fun and entertainment. Okay. 162 in January. I think the highest I went up was uh, 1124 and that was for a vacation. Remember my vacation lives in my fun and entertainment category, but for every other month that's normal, I would budget probably around 200. Do you see what I'm doing? I mean, if we go down to my insurance, that's another big one. Look at what my, so usually I just have, I have a small term policy, um, $9 a month. I got it really cheap. I got it a long, I got it over 15 years ago. Um, so it's fairly cheap to me and it's only a $50,000 30 year term policy. People get asked me like, why is it so cheap? Well, it's based on the term as well as the payout. And mine is very small, so I don't pay that much. But look what happens in August and February. Because, I mean, household alone too, if you come up in March, look what happened in March, $10,206 because I had my property taxes that were due. House insurance was just the day before that. So I just love going down and looking at the trends. It helps me better budget later on and in the future, but it helps me more accurately figure out my budget category limits for the month or for my paychecks. So that's what I was working on for my yearly spending overview. Next, if we go to my current workbook, one of the things I did get done as I got updated with my spending. I just had um, my Peloton expense or bill come out. And so let's go ahead. So I highlighted that. Let's go ahead and add that to my budget. Remember, we're filling out the actual column. So my $100 investment came out. HBO Max came out for $18.36. Peloton just came out for $47.56. Perfect. So we know now probably the next one that's going to come out for me is my joint brokerage investment account. So that's been done. Spending's been updated. Here's the other thing that I worked on. I got updated with a couple of different worksheets towards the end of the month. I got my still updating, accurately updating my meal plan and what I'm doing for my meals. Even if I don't have a dedicated recipe, I'm still tracking 
what my family does for dinner. So yesterday we just did leftovers from the chicken Alfredo. We had a ton, you know, the Alfredo from Costco. It's a lot. So we had that for leftovers. Here's the other worksheet I worked on prepping and getting ready for to fill out my monthly budget category breakdown. So it's just prepping those categories. And I need to, the next thing I need to work on is filling in that monthly budget. Remember that yearly spending overview, or even looking at my current budget right now is going to help me figure out that monthly budget that I've set for myself. So going back and looking at, okay, what did I budget for that specific category right here in September? So that was another one that I'm, I'm prepping in the new workbook, this is the only Where Do My Money Go worksheet that's left in the workbook. If you want the entire Where Do My Money Go worksheets, you still can get those 100% for free if you buy the Budget by Paycheck workbook. You can print them out and definitely go through those as, when you're closing out your budget. This is going to give you a complete overview of everything for that month, your debt, your savings, your spending, whether you're over or under budget, your total inflow and income for the month. We kept this because it is a wonderful resource to, to look at your, your spending as a whole, what's going on with your finances for the month as a whole. So that's why we kept that. I got that prepped and ready. So nothing for cash. I didn't have anything going on for my cash envelopes, but I did. You know what? Yes, I did. We go here. I prepped my October calendar. I got the template done wrote in my month, wrote in my days. Now, personally for me, when I'm doing my budget calendar, um, I like to do a Sunday through Saturday timeframe, a Sunday start date. I went through and I just went in and wrote in the months. I'm prepping my worksheets and getting those ready for the new month that we have coming. Got my expense tracker month written down. I even went through and added my bud or my meal plan calendar, got that template written out as well. So all I really have to do is decorate my pretty stuff and fill out my calendar for the next step, which is gonna be happening next week for me. So that is my Monday morning routine.